Alright, hey everybody, I'm back. I'm going to do a quick normal nightfall as a little bit of a warm-up here for myself, and I have never completed a nightfall with the Dawnblade, so I'm going to see if I can get this uh, Heat Rises perk here to work. Um, maybe use the Wing Sun a little bit, Icarus Dash here. Uh, yeah, um, get some Solar Grenades action here. I'm going to run the Sun Bracers for a little bit. Um, not sure what else really works with this build. Um, I may actually switch off the Sun Bracers. I just tried this a little bit. I don't think the Solar Grenade damages the boss. I think it acts like the um, um, Vortex Grenades on the other classes. So, But I think I might have to get a tad bit cheesy, but I think I can do this on a Dawnblade. Um, I've come really close on a couple other strikes Someone with the Dawnblade. Um, I actually haven't tried it on the other Torrent ones. I never Is that a really joke? bothered to see because I didn't Someone think there was much synergy with that, with getting extra grenades line. up quicker, but, but the, simulation has achieved the solar grenade now. itself is super powerful, so... Might, maybe I should have tried it, but... Let's see how it goes on this one. This may be the easiest nightfall um, with being able to get to the boss real fast. So, even if I can't solar grenade him down, I might be able to, like I did with the Titan, fusion him down. So, let's see how it goes. And forgive me if I'm a little distracted, I am watching the uh, London Spitfire the NYXL game here on the side. Don't really play a ton of Overwatch, but I man, I've really got into the Overwatch League. I think it's fascinating. Um, when I was younger, I was would have been in that mode to be a streamer and uh, even a pro. I was super high ranked in Unreal Tournament. And one, went to a bunch of land tournaments, won some money, um, won some prizes. Decent amount of stuff, you know, for considering at the time there was really no esports. Uh, and then most of it was in Quake. Um, and then Counter Strike started to take over toward the end of it, which I was pretty unhappy about because I loved. Uh, standard Half-Life Deathmatch. I had some fun tricks and tools in there, and I don't know why Counter-Strike became so popular. I think it's kind of boring. But definitely uh, finding Overwatch League fascinating here. a weird route here. Um, thought I could maybe... I could actually probably jump over there. I'm gonna activate this land just to be safe. I had to adjust here that the throwing... there seems to be a fastball effect on... I don't know if it's from the gloves? But the definitely the throwing angle for the uh, solar grenade um, is has much less drop off than that of the uh, pulse grenades on the art class. And also you get way much, way more float. It's really hard to do uh, glide canceling properly. Um, you kind of float off the edges Welcome and back. stuff here. You uh, this. You I had to switch over to balance time. glide instead of boost because it was really time. throwing me Someone pretty far sometimes. Show. And borrowed. I borrowed it. Save but time new, using the Seeker's Dash is interesting. Um, starting to get used to it here a little bit. These radio Laria machines are everywhere. Yeah, you have to really have to aim the the a little bit more of a downward angle if you want to get the proper throws here. Is all about that spire. We need to keep away from it. You don't remember the first time? You brain jacked me. Remember? 
Oh, that's right. After the Guardian destroyed the roof mine the first time, we spent weeks taking the simulation apart. The Vex have rebuilt it entirely. You really messed things up Although this time, Osiris. It took me a second to get used to using this Icarus Dash. It is kind of neat once you start going. Whoa. Uh, I really think if they... You know, the Dawn Blade... A couple things about the Dawn Blade that kind of suck. Um, one... This perk is interesting, but without the error accuracy, it... It really kind of makes it tough to use properly. Also, this super needs some help. It doesn't. It does really little damage on bosses um, comparatively to the other ones. On some of these other strikes, that's part of the reason I couldn't finish it. I did like the uh, inverted spire on normal and get to the boss, although I probably should have tried it after I really, really had the strike down, but at certain points, um, you, you just need a good super often to finish off that last section of the boss, um, both there and the Pyramidian, where they, where they kind of go into their headless rage mode. This just didn't seem to quite be able to burn anything down, so it's kind of unfortunate. It just seems to do so little damage. Um, I don't know. We'll see if it even helps on this guy either. Um, I did. I do like the perk that you get your grenade back, so I might be able to do two grenades and then uh, or a grenade, super grenade, um, and then another grenade at the end of it get a uh, maximum damage. So I might be able to make some stuff happen here. Let's see. Um, they're also, I think with this, they could change this. So if you'll notice, uh, I'll get some grenade ticks as stuff dies if I'm in the air. It's nice. Uh, I would prefer a buff, kind of like conduction tines. Um, in air accuracy is so bad, I think I would just rather rather receive a little bit of a buff that gives me that maybe a stackable thing. Not sure why they decided to go that route with this. Hard to keep track of, and it's a little bit hard to. Uh, make full use of. Um, you have to be in the air for these kills. I get it. That's how the thing is supposed to work, but just kind of. I mean, I get. I don't know. It, it, I can see how it could work with because even without torrents, um, you can get your grenade up pretty fast if you can get some good air kills. But again, with the air, without the air accuracy. Um, not quite sure if it's worth it. Got stuck on a texture there. Come on. track of it a lot. Oh, come on. Just the floatiness of the warlock sometimes can be really annoying. 
This should be a section I should have jumped right over, and I've already died twice now because I can't seem to float properly here. Um, definitely don't like the fact that I'm more floaty and I can't cancel quite as quickly with this build. Although you can hit a few areas that you normally can't, so there's that. Man, the, the float just so slow sometimes. I try to save my super here because normally I would pop it on, on the Stormcaller class, but because it comes so ba back so quickly with the conduction tines. Um, here, this one just doesn't charge nearly as fast. these grenades right then they really really are powerful take advantage of the floating here a little bit and stay out of some of the spam I, I mean this build is interesting it has some stuff but you can see sometimes it's just hard to get kills on things I've died to that. That thing damages you as it sucks you in. It's pretty annoying. Just pulled the plug on this spire's arc network. Vex are pretty angry. I would be too. Excuse us while we uh, kill them. Oh man, I wasted the rocket. he leaves the bubble and I use the bubble to kind of protect myself here. So if you haven't seen it, the cheese that exists is you, one, at first you can sit up in the air. I like this technique of once you get these guys out of the bubble, they won't come back in. I can use the arc of the top of the bubble to kind of protect myself here. Oh, as long as I don't 
hit it with a grenade. I also wish that buff gave you some. So now, the other part of the cheese is you leave him standing. Um, now, since this doesn't tick on him... Saved myself there with the uh, with the <laughs> dodge back. It's it's interesting. It's useful. I should be able to float around a little bit and avoid this minotaur a little bit if I can find a good spot to fight from the boss. Um, got a couple ideas here. Now the Minotaur doesn't even seem to care. He backed off. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is a little cheesy. Um, but it's really hard to get real good DPS on him with this. Uh, I may try to do a speed run here and do him normally with this build. Um, just always wanted to finish a build here with the, with the Dom Blade. You can see I've done a Nightfall with every class. Oh, also, actually, I haven't done one with the Sentinel Titan either, so maybe I'll try that too. Lob some mag grenades at him. Osiris, if you had any plans for this thing when you simulated it... You've done well, Guardian. That corpse could be useful. I'll retrieve it soon. Anyway, there you go. Just found a new spot. To make that even easier. <laughs> Yeehaw. Till the next one.